All right, today we're going to be installing the 67 Designs ball dash mount for the Jeep JK. You see it's a very well made product, very high density plastic. Uh, it comes with a single ball mount, but I went ahead and ordered the second ball mount along with it. That way I didn't have to come back later, uninstall it, and add the ball then. Uh, it just seemed a lot easier. It was only like an extra $25, $30, I think. Uh, the balls are very nice machined aluminum, very clean looking design. They mount with three screws on the inside. The padded or the mount itself is held down by a single bolt which we'll be removing and then putting over the mount itself. Um, it also has two adhesive strips. It's, it's this very high quality 3M VHB or very high bond material. Very nicely made. I went ahead and bought that with the 67 Designs Universal Phone Mount. It should do a really good job at holding the iPhone 11. Very nicely made, very nice. Seems very strong, it's very well reviewed online, that's why I went with it. I got it with the smaller sized uh, carbon fiber and aluminum arm. I went with the flat finish just because I like the way it looks. It has these nice secure ends that are made out of aluminum. Uh, if you're wondering if they're plastic, they're not, they're actually metal and they seem to do a really good job at holding. It's just, just a simple uh, wing nut type design. It seems really strong, it looks really nice. Uh, I also have this simple uh, handlebar mount or you know, bar mount for the GoPro that I'm gonna be putting on here later when I'm done. I got the idea from a buddy at work. It seems to work really well for getting that front facing view out the windshield of the Jeep for the GoPro. Um, 67 Designs actually sells something similar to this that mounts to the ball, but I didn't want to tie up a ball just with the GoPro mount. I might add an iPad later, or maybe an iPad mini or something like that. I'm not really sure yet. And this was $9 versus 30 or 35 that 67 Designs charges for the individual ball mount for the GoPro. So it should work out nicely. All right, to do this job, uh, we're gonna have to remove a single nut in the little cubby on the top of the dash. So to do that, we just need a socket wrench, a simple extension, and then a seven millimeter socket. Should be pretty easy job. Um, most of the work is honestly in the prep, making sure that the surfaces are clean so we get a good seal or good bond with the adhesive pads. But other than that, it should be pretty easy. And uh, most importantly, I got my bucks. So let's get it done. All right, so we're gonna begin the install by removing this plastic tray that sits in this little cubby. Should just be a little light tug upwards and it should pop right out. There we go. And that will re reveal the single seven millimeter nut, which we will now remove. But like I was saying, the big part of this install is just the prep work. You wanna make sure that these surfaces are very clean so the mount, it's the maximum amount of bond with those adhesive pads. All right. Comes up pretty easily. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it one more wipe just to make sure everything's nice and clean. Especially right in this area and right along this little lip right here. Thank you, helicopter. All right. So then next, we're gonna remove these adhesive strips. This is the hard part of the install. You only get one take for this. Or one shot at this take without messing it up, right? Peel an edge. And then, I'm gonna peel that off. Then I'm actually going to use this seven millimeter nut to locate the hole where this is going to need to go. And then I'm going to go ahead and re-tighten that nut. Get that secured into place. I want to get it too tight, just nice and snug. Don't ask me for a torque spec, I don't have it. Alright, then we're gonna press that down very firmly. 
Make sure that it bonds very well. All right, it's pretty easy, pretty easy install. Not too shabby, looks really good already. All right. All right. Have to excuse me, I have a little bit of a runny nose. I've had a cough and a runny nose all week long. All right, nice and tight. Okay, and there you have it. Seems to be sitting nicely in place. Yeah. So I would say one of the drawbacks is that you can't really reuse this plastic uh, cubby liner, but I mean, I guess you could trim it if you really wanted to, but honestly, I've never put anything up here as long as I've owned the Jeep for five years. So it's not really gonna be a loss. All right. Next, you can see we have our arm. It's gonna go right on this ball. Okay. Actually, you know what? It's not gonna work for me for it on that side. There we go. Say that's a tip. Make sure you put these on the outside. Okay, and I'd say that we could just about call that guy done. Not too shabby. Looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna have to drive around a little bit and uh, find out exactly how I want this. Let's see, oh, a little bit of movement, but I'm just gonna tighten it down more. Looks pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm gonna call that good. It's pretty handy. I think maybe I'll put that like that. And loosen this guy a little bit. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Ultimately, I think I'm gonna end up getting the iPad mount with another flat carbon fiber arm and use that for navigation, but I don't know. I'm gonna play around with it for a little bit. So then next, I'm gonna wait to tighten this down because I'm not really sure how exactly I'm gonna want it, but this is, you get the general idea with this guy. I'm using the GoPro to record right now, so it's gonna take a little bit to, all right. Kind of get the idea though. Pretty nice. I know there's the company Ram Mount who also make ball adapter mounts, and I might ultimately go with one of those for right here because they have the smaller adjustable arm for the GoPro, but I don't know. I'm gonna give it some time and see what I like. But not bad. It's a pretty easy install. Looks pretty darn good. I'm liking it. Seems pretty secure. Not too shabby. All right, hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.